lovelies, how are you? Oh, I haven't quite got my lighting right tonight. We've got, does anyone have this where you've got a house and we've got this one section where the light globes are always blowing. So we've got like one of those just, you know, things that's got sort of four down lights attached. Anyway, we've replaced them like 10,000 times and there's obviously some little wiring hoo-ha. But anyway, consequently, I feel like I'm a bit in the dark. But anyway, we carry on. Hello, 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 welcome everybody. Hope you're all happy, healthy and well, good, hello. I was gonna say good morning, hello, Alani. Um, so tonight, I'm cooking something super simple and super fast, and a sort of a, a take on the fake away. So the fake away, which is, you know, take away, but not really. Um, and because it's footy season in Australia, hello, Annette, gorgeous woman. Um, so footy season, AFL. Sadly, my team in the AFL is not doing very well. Oh, good morning, Susan. Um, good morning, God, what is wrong with me? Good afternoon, good evening. Yes, um, yes, you've got some that blow more too. It's so annoying. So consequently, this side of the world's in the dark and I've got a light here, but I haven't quite angled it. Anyway, getting distracted. So um, anyway, basically footy season in my, when I grew up, footy season meant hot dogs. And hot dogs, as you know, are pretty much a processed shit store. They're really just absolute garbage. But in Australia, we're lucky because there's one brand that makes a hot dog that's actually pretty good. And as you know, I don't normally go around eating stuff out of packets very often, but I'm not making my own hot dogs. So this is um, this is this brand. It's called Cleavers. It'll be back to front for you guys. It's Cleavers. It's in um most of it's in Coles. And this is their organic, this is their organic beef hot dog. So check out this for the ingredients, right? So the ingredients, so it's made in Australia, 100% organic Australian beef. And um, if I go to the list of ingredients, ah, here. The list of ingredients, 86% beef, some water, salt, organic spices, celery, extract, herbs, which are rosemary and parsley, Organic onion and organic garlic. Like seriously, I'm thinking, I'm not making, I'm not making hot dogs from scratch when this person's going to do them for me without any of the rubbish. No fillers, no maltodextrin, no maltitol, no cornstarch, no rice flour, nothing. No tapioca, nothing. Just meat. Good go the demons. Oh yeah, yeah. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> Got the Cranksty too, yeah. Cranks, Kranskis, uh, depending if, if you can get yeah, if, if you can get a good quality Kransky. It's like a lot of the process, these processed products, like hot dogs are counted as processed products, right? As are Cabana and all of that. There's good Cabana and then there's rubbish Cabana. There's good Kranskis and there's dud Kranskis. There's good hot dogs, well, not many, only that brand, and dud. So, they all get lumped into processed meat, but they're not actually all, the, all processed meat. This, this is basically just, um, you know, ground beef in a casing. So, yay, hurrah. So, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook up some um, Jimmy cakes. I need a little bowl to put them in. What have I done with my bowl? Luckily, I live, luckily I do this thing in the kitchen where I can just grab one. So, um, you only need a little bowl. So, basically, Jimmy Cakes, named after our friend Jimmy James. Oh God, I've just smashed the egg as I was reaching over. It's now dripping all over the carton. Who's done that before? Right, it's not looking very glamorous tonight. Oh, speaking of glamorous, you may not be able to tell, but this is a glimmery golden top, which is a bit fancy for a Tuesday. Um, I, have, I bought it just one day in winter, maybe a year or two ago. And I just thought, isn't it nice? It's just a nice bit of a shimmer. Lucy's cooking and fashion tips. Hello, Katrina. So, Jimmy Cakes, one egg. Um, you just mush that around. Did I put it a fork out? Yes, I did. I knew I got some things ready. Bit of a fork. Now, the key to a Jimmy Cake, because we want it to be a little bit bendy to hold our hot dog, you put a tiny bit of gelatin in. Now, if you're clever and had a spoon, I don't, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit into the lid. That's a bit much. It's about half a teaspoon, okay? You know, give or take. Same with a little bit of baking powder. That just gives it a bit of fluff so that it's not a flat, super flat pancake. If you don't have these, you can still make it 
It's basically a chaffel recipe. Do you remember the chaffel craze? That was around about a year and a half ago. It's chaffels were basically just egg and grated cheese. This is egg grated cheese and some little softening things. So Jimmy has a, 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 um, a cup of cheese, which I find just a little bit too cheesy. Uh, Fiona, ah, Fiona likes Jimmy cakes with ham and cheese, absolutely. And Dr. Mary made a version yesterday with Vegemite. Now, if you're not from Australia, you're gonna hate Vegemite because it is really salty. It looks like black tar. And the key to Vegemite is just tiny, tiny, tiny bits. So I've put in a little bit under half a cup. Um, I didn't pack it in, so it was probably three quarters of a cup um, not packed in. So basically, now if you wanted to, you could fling some herbs in. I'm not going to tonight. I just, I'm just keeping it as simple as possible. So that's it, like, that's the mixture. Okay, it doesn't have to be nothing fancy. Okay, so then I'm gonna put it in my pancake maker. These are brilliant, you can get them from Woolies or anywhere, it came up, 29 bucks. It's a double pancake maker. Way better for, in my mind than a waffle iron. A bit more practical. If you put too much in, it will bubble over and grease out everywhere. But with that amount, so that's just the right amount for two pancakes. And I just spread them out a little bit. Ooh, slam the lid shut. And then what'll happen is steam's gonna pour out it. So I'll try and bring it over a little bit. I, the Facebookers can see it, the Instagram's not so much because I'm in the middle here. Okay, so they're, while they're cooking, You've got to have some veggies, so I'm going to have coleslaw. <laughs> but when it's got that on it, it'll stop playing after a while. You don't hate Vegemite, but you prefer Promite. Interesting. That's interesting. I don't like Promite. Okay, so here's some coleslaw that I didn't chop up myself, but here. It's the mayonnaise that I made myself. How good's that? So I just whipped that up beforehand. Um, if you, you, if you wanna have a look at it, um, there's a recipe on our website. It's basically macadamia oil, egg, lemon juice, and a bit of salt, all zhuzhed in together. And that's the veggies. So remembering our formula for good eating, some protein, pick a protein, add some veggies, Add a little bit of fat if you want to. I probably got a bit carried away then. Probably didn't need to add all that mayonnaise in, but never mind. It is in there now. And add some flavour. I can tell you I didn't chop this because there's no way I would have put that bit in there. But anyway, it's now probably slightly overdressed mayonnaise, but that's fine. And then here I put these. So these, um, the, the other beauty of this, like seriously, this is dinner in 10 minutes. These are already cooked. So you just heat them up in them. I just put them in the microwave. You can pan fry them. Um, uh, you can put them in a, in a, in a boily thing. I just microwaved them. Um, I did six minutes, which is probably a bit long. They didn't split, they're just a little wrinkled. So as soon as this is done, oh, I forgot to put the timer on. You don't need the timer, but what you do need to know is that it stops when the steam stops. So I'm just bringing it over here. I don't know if you guys can see that but there's steam coming and when the steam stopped then that's done so what i'm going to do is i'm going to serve these on the jimmy cakes with the hot dogs with some sauerkraut and a side of slaw seriously how good's that um the only reason i mean you could just use slaw but it's a little bit you know the, as we often talk about with pro probiotics you need small amounts often not a big whack every now and then that's a new thing. This brand I like. What brand is it? It's called Wildly Good. Probably a good name. Um, again, I just got this from the supermarket. It's in the fresh food section, though not in the shelf section. The shelf section often has sugar in their ones. This is just normal old fermented, essentially <laughs> double dipping on the coleslaw. That's, if you had other veggies, if you wanted to make some salad, you could certainly do that. I'm still waiting for my steam. Mm, we go from there. So, one of the things I want to talk to you about tonight, it's so funny. I was talking to somebody the other night. Tuesday nights, I do the cooking show, they're actually the most stressful night of the week. 
because I have to come up with something different to cook every week. You had that last night, Jimmy Cake sausages and sauerkraut. Good on you, Melissa. Did you buy the spicy kraut? No, I've just got original. Original. I've, I've bought um, kraut before that had turmeric, thinking, oh, turmeric's really good for you, and I didn't like it. So I'm really just, for sauerkraut, I just like either the original or the beetroot. So Tuesday night's the most stressful night of my week because I have to come up with something different to cook. And I was talking to somebody about this idea that... They said to me, I, I don't want to eat low carb anymore because it's boring. Hmm, interesting, isn't that interesting? It's like when people, and I, I talked a bit about this this morning, I don't like going to bed because it's boring. It's a little thing that your brain offers you. Ooh, in comes my grown up daughter. Hello, daughter. Hello. <laughs> um, it's a little story, you know, a truth, a kernel of truth that your brain goes, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore, I'm bored. It's so interesting to me because it will say that about eggs. How many people have said, I don't want to eat eggs anymore. I'm so sick of them. They're so boring. Has anyone ever said that? Yes. And if you haven't, you will have heard it. Yet, we ate wheat fix for 30 years. Look at these. So these are magnificent. Basically, a giant pile of protein. Cheese, egg. So protein and fat keeps us full. Uh, they, they're bendy, so they'll go around your hot dog. You don't want them too stiff. They're per perfectly cooked, not burnt or stuck to the pan. Brilliant. Um, so there, here's the thing about reasonable stories. Remember, our brain will give us reasonable stories. Breakfast is a really good one. People go, oh my God, what do you eat for breakfast? Of course, as most of you know, I just have coffee. But if you want to have breakfast, people go, but breakfast is so boring. I just have to have eggs. Um, two things. One, you don't. You can have whatever you want because you're the boss of you. Two, as I said, you've probably ate wee fix for 30 years of your life and nobody complained about that. Three, people go, but breakfast, I don't have time. I just don't have time to cook breakfast. I don't have time to do eggs. Eggs are so super fast. I now just crack the eggs straight into the pan. I do scrambled eggs, I crack two eggs in, whip them around, that's it. Bit of salt, maybe a couple of herby things. Bang it straight onto the thing and have whatever, that's it. It's so fast. They are the fastest things ever. So there's nothing wrong with getting sick of eggs, but if your brain tells you that's the reason you can't do something, it's telling you a little, a little lie, just a little mistruth. And it does it because if you think about it, <laughs> if you think about it, a lot of the time what our brain really wants, it wants a reason to eat carbs. They love it, it loves it. Why does it love it? Because carbs send off our dopamine receptors way more than protein. Okay, protein, it just doesn't do it. The bliss point, I mean, the bliss point involves carbs, fat, and salt. But I, I know that carbs by themselves will do it because there's no fat or salt in Coke. And Coke sends people's brains nuts. There's no fat or salt in jelly lollies, jelly beans, snake lollies, but yet it sends our brains nuts. Most people aren't eating um, butter. Most people don't go, oh my God, I just can't stop eating butter. You have a little bit of butter, but most people aren't addicted to butter in the way that they are addicted to Coke or lollies. But if you combine fat, protein, and salt together, then that's the holy grail. So, um, sorry, not fat, protein, and salt. Fat, carbs, and salt. That would be like chips, okay, So or crisps. So, you know, that that's the holy grail. Um, and the reason that salty caramel has taken off and that American thing of sweet bacon, maple syrup bacon, that wasn't in our diet up until 15 years ago. And now it's a regular maple syrup flavored bacon. So the combo of the sweet, the salty with the fat. So I'm very mindful of my brain doing those things. I am very, very mindful that it is gonna come up with some tricks so it can get what it wants. Oh, good, well, these are, I'm gonna plate up while we're doing this. So I've got my Jimmy Cakes. I've got my protein little sausages, like this. I have got my very, now this is probably the most processed thing in my cupboard. It's, um, it's so, tomato sauce, you know. I mean, everyone's got tomato sauce, but this one is mingle. It hasn't got any sugar. It uses monk fruit, so it's very, very low carb. It's much, much less sugar than a standard bottle of tomato sauce, and their barbecue one is much less sugar than a standard bottle of um, 
have barbecue sauces. So I mainly have this in the cupboard for the kids because I tend not to eat it very often, except I kind of think you can't really have a hot dog without it. So I've got that, that, and seriously, a little bit of this. Ta-da, look at that, huzzah. Seriously, I mean, that's actually good for you. Protein, some good quality fat, sauce is dripping off, and some probiotic vegetables. And if you want some more vegetables, as I said, I've made some beautiful slaw with homemade. So there we go, beautiful. So that's my plate up there, dinner's done. Um, but what did they take, like 10 minutes, if that, not even that. What is it? It is Lucky 113, 333. Lucky's asking, this is Jimmy Cakes, which are a low carb alternative to bread, organic hot dogs, which are a beautiful alternative to the rubbish hot dogs with some sauerkraut and some coleslaw on the side. Perfect dinner, very fast, very quick. Real food, real fast. Um, so lovelies, just be mindful of the little stories that your brain will put up onto why you can't live a lifestyle that is going to help you live a long and happy life, that is going to help you achieve food freedom. Your brain is a very, very clever thing and it will sometimes put up some stories because it really does. It loves carbs. That's okay. You can say, I know you love it, but it doesn't help us. You know, us being the body as well as the mind. Okay, my lovelies, that's it. That's it tonight, short and sharp. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I'm back in the morning anyway, so I'll see you around about eight o'clock, probably 8.15, who knows, sometime between eight and 8.15 for another episode of whatever we call it these days. It used to be keto in the car. Mary's was low carb in the leaves. Quite often both of us are, are, um, are the brand of snags. Um, Ange is Cleavers. Cleavers, organic beef, no nasties, terrible, nothing terrible, beautiful, yummy. Tasty, delish, done in 10 minutes. Bye, beautifuls. See ya. Have a wonderful night.